Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the rig today. So our bottom fly is our tungsten, our heaviest one. And then I'm running a tag to the second one. And we're actually running three flies today. So we have two tags, just with a double surgeon and a tag in like that. And our tungsten's on the bottom. And we're running a slip indicator. So this indicator slips. So I basically just do a little loop like that. So when you set the hook, it can slide. And the reason why we're doing that is because this leader is 25 feet long. We're catching these fish at anywhere from 18 to 25 feet. So basically, I'm going to take a pair of forceps and we're going to clip the bottom tungsten fly. And we're going to let our indicator slide and we're going to drop it over the side of the boat. Now the reason for this is we're fishing these chronomids just a couple feet or inches actually above the bottom. So our indicator should float up here. So our indicator right here. I'm gonna wait till it reaches bottom. My forceps will hit bottom. I'm gonna set my indicator just a little bit above the bottom. So when I drop it, you should be able to see that indicator. So I'm gonna keep doing this until I can just about see that indicator barely under the water. So that, can you see that down there, Ben? Mm -hmm. So that's about how far I want it. I don't want it too far off the bottom, but close to the bottom, because that's where the chronomids and the bugs are. So now that we have that depth set, we're gonna keep how far that is, about two feet, foot and a half, and we won't have to do the forcep trek again. If we stay anchored right here, take our forceps off, and we're fishing now.